Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to the 28th and final day of February 2017. I'm off to work, but I got to stop in Kelso right quick, and drop something off the little woman, and then uh, we'll start our day. Man, it is shockingly beautiful out here this morning. Looks like it hasn't been too long since it's rained, so roads are quite wet. But uh, I'll take some sunshine any old time. Look out this lot here on the right. All trees are gone. They're going to build something there. Bit by bit. All the greenery is disappearing around here. It's nuts. Well, I'm in the great metropolis of Kelso, Washington. That's Kelso High out there. That's Kelly's High School. But the old dude. Usually you, see, usually you see a kid walking across there. But uh, anyway, that's old Kelso High. The Highlanders. Head up the hill to Kelly's parents' house here. This is not one of the steeper hills. There's one, the, the prior road. That thing is crazy steep. Remember, we, my parents looked at a house on that road. And uh, I remember thinking, man, how cool would it be to live on a hill this steep? So <laughs> we ended up getting the house over on the Longview side, way up on the mountain up there on Columbia Heights, that was on even a steeper hill and a longer stretch. That was uh, pretty crazy living on that in the wintertime because we were high enough, we got snow all the time. It was nuts. <laughs> what the heck do you got going on here? It's really cold. Carrie went and got some wood stove pellets. There's no heat in the house. You're kidding me. Uh, so she went and got some, and so we did that going. She just got back. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Here's your little satchel of goodies there, Mama. Oh, goodie, goodie yeah. Yep. Kind of the same scene, a different day. It's me all by my lonesome. Oh, poor me, oh, poor me. <laughs> I'm alright. I'm a big boy. I can handle it. There's Ryan's little grinder truck there. <laughs> Hot dang. A beautiful spider limited edition special series. Yeah, buddy. You know, it's really sad that they're not making these special series anymore. But, guess what this is right here? I don't know if we can see anything. Ah, oh, we can't see anything. It's all covered up. That is a, uh, a Spider F3S Daytona. I think they call it the Daytona 500 or the Daytona Special. But that thing's really, really rare and we have one right there. How cool is that? I'm going for a little test ride. I don't have anything hooked up, so I can't take you with me, so. So any of you guys that are up on BMWs know that for 2017, there's two new R1200 GSs. There's an exclusive and there's a rally. This is the exclusive. All new for 2017. I mean, most of it's the same, but there's, uh, there's some distinct changes body works tweak just a little bit these little panels are are uh, metal now calipers are gold this is on the exclusive the brake calipers are gold in color we'll, we'll get the get her in a more disassembled state but this is just pulling the top off in the bags of parts that are stapled in between. Man, is that thing good looking. Love them gold colored Brembos. But you'll see the nose has been tweaked a little bit. This has always been a three piece affair. Larger vents. See where you had one on each side and a little clear piece. 
and kind of a one piece fender. This is the more road oriented GS. The rally is the more street or off road oriented. That thing is pretty. Here's our second F3 Limited. I think it's like a gray magnesium. I forget what they call the color. It's the only gray colored. I'm pretty sure it's uh, magnesium is what they're calling it. Wow. That is like way cool looking. But that's what they look like with just kind of like I did with the BMW. That's what it looks like when you take the box off. That's what's in the box. And that's so neat how they pack these things. I love seeing how they pack them. These guys take a lot of pride in their stuff. You'll never guess what this belongs to. Ta da! It got the little orange. Gotta have her little lipstick. That's my goofy kid. Nice little shield. Well, if I talk any louder, I blow the mics out. Yellow strips. Risers with uh, drag bars on there. That, that one, uh, you turn off traction control. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You turn it off and make it go fast. You take it for a rip? I'll probably wait until, or if, we get a F3 or F3S demo. I will. Uh, uh, yeah, I won't be. I won't be ripping on this one. That could be career ending. <laughs> well, at least they didn't put them goofy disc-looking wheels on there that they got. Yeah. I'll leave you with this thing mostly assembled. All I got to do is put the battery in it and the skid pan on it sitting over there. That's one good looking motorcycle right there. They actually made the GS look pretty. Man, that thing is good looking. Alright, I'm on my way home now. Look at this. Full on sun's up. You know what's funny? Is it like 5 o'clock in the middle of summer? It's like straight up. It's like high noon at 5 o'clock. It's the craziest thing. All right, well, at least I get a dry, well, who knows what it'll be like when I get farther north, but at the moment, it's dry, and I like it. So I was going to swing by and, and see Kelly, and she goes, don't bother, I want to have a chance to talk to you. I said, what the heck are you talking about? I guess she's still, I don't know who the heck she's talking to this time of night, but she's uh, still talking to people, trying to get things sorted out. Man, that's one wild woman. You need to get something done. She'll get it done. What do you think, Madison? It's so sad. Madison and Abby run around to the passenger side of the car waiting for Kelly to come out, and she never comes out. And Abby did something to her leg. She's limping on it again. Why are you limping again, Abby, huh? What did you do? Did you play too hard? Did you play too hard, Emmeline? <laughs> All right. Hey, you know that Airhawk DS that I got, what, a couple, three years ago? Um, can you tell by the tank and stuff of that? <laughs> that's, a, that's a GS. That is the bike it's designed for. That thing was too big and it'd roll over on the DR. And it wasn't quite big enough. I remember I was going to use it on the uh, um, Indian Chieftain because that seat's so uncomfortable. And I brought it with me. In fact, it's in the ba bag liner um, in my closet with all my motorcycle stuff in the house. It just 
that junk that I carried on trips. Anyways, rolled up in a, one of those saddlebag liners. I never, never had to use it on that. Well, actually, it wasn't that one. It was a, it was my black one. But the seat was so comfortable. I never needed, never thought about my butt the whole time. I'm still amazed that that seat is that comfortable because it's kind of a trimmed down foam version of the touring seat. I mean, the most comfortable seat I've ever rode on. Never once on the Yellowstone trip did my butt ever hurt. But anyway, <laughs> your butt being comfortable is very important. But anyway, I need to dig that thing out, see how it fits on there. Not that I'm going to use it. I, I'm, I, not uncomfortable in that seat either, but who knows on a long journey. You never know till you take a nice long ride. Then the truth will tell. Well, hello there, YouTube. And, uh, as you know from previous footage, I'm not going to be here with Kelly tonight, or she's not going to be with us. Um, man, I, you know, I hate to sound like a broken record, and, and I feel like I just, you know, I, I just say this too much. But it is true. You guys are the most incredible people freaking ever. Man, I, I only a couple of times that I have a chance to look through comments at work today. It was actually a very busy day for me today. The first <laughs> services and BMW showed up. And, and um, I was trying to build one of those spiders. I was hoping to build the, the Daytona, but my son is young and, you know, he just has that speed to him you know and both of those are sold I, I believe I, I know the the Daytona is and um, we might be getting one more of those I don't know I think there's only 2,000 of those things made for the whole country and I think we might be getting a second one that is really cool man talking about a spider gets me excited but at any rate um, with all that going on you know I, I only had a, a few moments to flip through and and just blown away anyway I just sat down and looked through I didn't have a chance because I need to talk to you guys and finish up Leo do you have to scratch well right in the middle of me doing a vlog huh buddy but um anyway geez you guys are nice it is amazing how this little daily vlog video thing that Actually, it was just going to be me doing stuff, and then Kelly got involved, and how how this was meant to start, it just took a total different direction, in a very, very positive way, that, I don't know, we became this family, you know, and, you know, it's funny, as, as Kelly and I have never, it was kind of, we had this little goal thing, you know, once, you know, she, but once it started becoming what it did, not that it's anything fancy. We don't do any kind of fancy editing, no whiz bang, nothing. We don't have music playing and all, all that. It's, you know, it's not a show. Like I've said from the beginning, it's just a day in the life, you know. Just, we're just taking you along, showing you what I can of what we do in a day. A lot of times it's a, literally this repetitious same thing every time. But we've become a family. Uh, and obviously, I mean, going by the comments, you guys feel the same way. You know, Kelly and I definitely do. It's just absolutely mind-boggling. And she's too busy doing all her, her stuff there, uh, which I'll get to here in a second. Um, you know, she has, and I said, Kelly, have you had a chance to look through the comments? It's, it's incredible, these people. All our family. It's like this huge family. It's crazy. And... I think people that don't even watch our vlogs are watching vlogs. There's like family members. I just got a voicemail from someone I don't even know that is a relative um, of Kelly's dad. And I forwarded the the uh, voicemail. I don't know, I'm sure they probably got my phone number off the internet or something. But I uh, forwarded it to Kelly. And she goes, oh, yeah, I, I, I've been talking to her on Facebook. Or I messaged her on Facebook. But, um... Anyway, crazy. This family. It's nuts. You know, it's 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 weird because it's like this such a close family, but it's like we uh, we don't get together. Which there's got to be a way somehow or another to do some kind of a tour or something. I don't know. 
I gotta figure out something. Be nice to just walk up and shake your hand, give you a hug, whatever. It's incredible. So, one of the things you guys, uh, a lot of people brought up is a, I guess it's a thing called GoFundMe. I, I think I've heard people talking about that. Some of the young vloggers, you know, trying to raise money for something or whatever. I, I thought it, I really didn't know it was anything, but, you know, as a last resort, we might look into something like that. I, you know, I, I don't even know what it's all about. But uh, you guys just, it's, it's amazing how many of you goes, do it, you know, we'll help. Crazy. That's nuts that you guys would even consider something like that. But, as awesome as that is, Kelly, her mom had a great day, everything, you know, it was, you know, it was a good day for Kelly and her mom. And, um, but what she worked on very hard, she got all the paperwork that I was talking about last night, got all that that signed and at the 11th hour um she got a hold of some guy medicaid will pay for the help that her mom needs but medicare will not they have medicare not medicaid and he has in fact kelly was texting me after she's all excited right after going he's already filed the paperwork he's talking to her you know most people are going home to have a cold beer at the end of the day, you know, and this guy's still helping her out, he's trying to fact, because this can take six to eight weeks to get even someone to look at it, much less approve it, but anyway, the gist of it, I, I, I'm probably way off, but the way I understood her text is that he's going to try to get them into Medicaid and fast track it, apparently he's a super, super cool guy, she's been calling people all day long and it's just been hitting one roadblock after another and pretty much everybody goes yeah you know for several thousand dollars a month you know we can take care of her you know it was everybody wanting their money you know but um, you know Kelly's parents they're not they're not well to do or anything like that you know so I'd, one of the things was Kelly's just trying to see you know did her dad have anything set up or we don't know, and I don't, and I don't even know the answer. That obviously he doesn't, but um, you know, I don't know. You know, everybody does their thinks about things different. You know, I've been thinking about that for for a long time. You never know what situation could arise. You know, health wise or just like this. You know, he's just pruning, and the apple tree's not very tall. It's nowhere near as tall as the apple tree out there. I need to prune. Lord, does that thing need to be pruned? But uh. Uh, he wasn't very high, so, you know, something very simple. I'm sure he thought he was completely safe. He wasn't towering up on the third story of a roof. You know, he was not very high off the ground, but he, I think he landed on some of the big branches that he had already cut. The branch, you know, just whatever one he cut, I guess it was a fairly large one, just swiped him right off the ladder. And uh, You know, I don't know. I haven't talked to him about you know what happened you know he he knows what happened but yeah, anyway so there's light at the end of the tunnel um there may be assistance coming oddly quick to uh to you know get her mom some care so that you know because we got to carry on our lives as well you know and a lot of you have experienced this a lot of you i i was flipping through there reading your stories you guys have gone through the same thing you know and you know this kind of thing can actually tear trying to help can literally tear a family apart so you know it's very important that Kelly and I stay Kelly and I and it doesn't become something weird and wonky you know so anyway there is light at the end of the tunnel hopefully so Kelly's very excited very excited in our text. So we do our little talk thing at the end because you know how it is. You get the talking and 45 minutes goes by like we did last night. I go, Kelly, I, uh, you know, I really got to get this video done. I don't want to go to bed. I get to get up early to because now I'm doing her morning job plus all the stuff I do every morning before I go to work. So I got up crazy early this morning and I still, I was still, I mean, I got to work like 10 minutes late today, so... Anyway, anyway, thank you guys. You're, <laughs> you guys are amazing, 
And uh, looks like I'm probably going to run this one over just a little bit. But anyway, you guys are super, super, super amazing. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I know when Kelly gets a chance to read through the comments, she's just going to be overwhelmed. I mean, overwhelmed. You guys are so awesome. So, light in the tone. Uh, uh, Walter was texting me saying, you know, miracle is going to happen. And literally, as I sent the last text, I'm going, hoping it doesn't rely on a miracle. Kelly texts me with the news. So, uh, Walter and Brad, thanks for your your very supportive texts today. And um, I need to roll out because this is going to be a long video. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, I hope you realize how serious we are when we say that. I, there's no way that you can like see in my heart and whatever, but really, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. And on that, I need to roll out. We will talk to you guys tomorrow.